Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, welcome back to another exciting episode of Divine RPG. Now you might be wondering, well, what are we going to do in this episode, right? Are we going to build a house, because you like mentioned that in the last episode? Are we going to uh, end the series, because you know you mentioned that in the last episode? Well, you guys came up with some great ideas, and I really, really enjoyed them, reading them. So, um, one of the ideas that I really want to do is uh, kill all the bosses that you can spawn. So the first boss that we're going to go after in this episode is called the Ancient Entity. Now in order to do this you need to make a mysterious clock and right click it on the ground. So we need to make a mysterious clock and this boss is spawned in the overworld. So this world that I'm in right now. So a mysterious clock is what we're going to be looking for and that is what we're going to need. Let's just say clock then. And, uh, why can we not find a mysterious clock, then? Oh, our items upset. Subsets were messed up. Okay, so a mysterious clock is made out of corrupt stones, which is made out of corrupt shards. How many corrupt shards do we have? We have enough corrupt shards for this, so that's good. Let me go ahead and get all my inventory clear. So let's make our corrupt shards that we're going to need. We're going to need three of these. And we are going to fight this boss. Now, it says in the, uh in the forum that it says due to its large size it can easily be, be trapped in the trees making it easy to kill so that's probably its weakness so uh, I would say we should do something like that so we need shadow bar and netherite chunk do we have any shadow bar or netherite chunk shadow bar is made out of I think it's made out of arlamite and it's been a while since I've done this so you know shadow bar arlamite and rupee so we do have an Arlamite. Do we have any rupee left over? We might not have any rupee left over, which means we might need to go kill some mobs for a rupee. <clears throat> so we can actually continue on. I think that's one thing that we are going to have to do. Go kill some mobs for some rupee. We'll just make sure one more time. Check our all of our chests. Make sure that I'm not blind, because I could be blind. But I don't think I am for some rupee. Got some snowflakes, which were awesome, right? So, let's go ahead and go down and see if any mobs have spawned that will give us that. And I do believe the rupee is... Hmm, I can't remember which mob spawns it. I kind of remember which mob spawns it. It's been a while since we've been in this world. Uh, Derek, 132 forces, by the way, you made this dick axe. Lol. Uh, yeah, that's what happens when you, like, are gone for a month for a series and then you come back. Because you don't realize what you made and what you haven't made, so exactly something that well now we know I think it's the eye things that spawn down here that we need to take out okay these guys are totally going to be coming after me here in a second and I don't believe they give you anything except for real might which is a real bummer get it real might real bummer but hey oh we need to heal up real quick we're not we're not like totally overpowered, but we do have some. Ooh, run, 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 Rudolph, run! So what you guys don't know is somebody actually commented and said you should do The Last of Us, a Let's Play. And actually, I bought a a uh, new recorder for my uh, live streams and for well, for YouTube. Uh, that will allow me to live stream and record Xbox 360 and PS3 games flawlessly with audio in the background using like XSplit or something like that. So uh, it's called the Live Gamer Pro uh, Portable, and I am really looking forward to it coming in. It should be here tomorrow, and I should be able to play some awesome games. I had The Last of Us ordered on uh, Gamefly, which I just ordered a Gamefly account so I could play some awesome games for you guys via that. So it's either going to be live streamed or on this channel. And I'm just going to go ahead and try to do some PC games and some Xbox 360 games and PS3 games. Now the cool thing about the Live Gamer Pro uh, HD Portable that I got is that it can actually take away your CPU usage for like games like Minecraft and all that uh, when I'm recording. I don't need fraps anymore. I can actually use that to record. but. I might still use fraps just because fraps is the easier method plus I don't get that much frame rate lag when it comes down to uh, Minecraft now if Minecraft gets really laggy then I might but who knows and obviously we're not gonna find one of those eye things that's gonna drop a rupee Ari 
Are we? Let's go back. It'll probably spawn when we least expect it. I know it has to be in a 2x2 two two area. At least a 2x2 two two area to spawn. But yeah, it'll probably spawn when we least expect it. I'll just go start walking back and there it'll be right in front of me. It's either that or mine for it. But we're going to go ahead and try in this series. Uh, a lot of people were like build houses and stuff and like I already have a nice, well I think it's a nice house. A lot of people are like, it's an ugly house in the Technic pack. Or Titan, <laughs> sorry my bad. Tech reboot. Uh, and uh... I don't know, it just seems like a lost cause to build a nice house here. Now there was another option that I was debating on, uh, and that is swapping the swo. Okay. You guys are not what I wanted to spawn, but okay. Oh, I tried to save myself. I tried. Apparently my... There's my latest death, so it must be over here. But anyways, uh, the other option was somebody actually mentioned... Uh, let's see, who was it? Trying to find it. A lot of comments. Alright, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys because I cannot seem to find the comment. But the comment was basically, and you guys can go back and find it. And, well, if you guys like this idea, let me know. Actually, spam Terra Firmacraft down below if you like this idea. But the uh, other option would be to end this series and do Terra Firmacraft. Now I can't actually go ahead and say I can do Terra Firmacraft on the side with this series because we already have the Aether 2 mod which is already our, one of our adventure packs and we have this one so I'm only going to try to keep three single player uh, at the max three single player Minecraft things going at the same time that's quite a bit to begin with anyways plus I really enjoy the FTB and I really enjoy Aether 2 so far so but it's your guys' option we can move on to Terra Firmacraft but I kind of feel like, you know, to accomplish this series, I needed to defeat at least all the bosses. Maybe not the Hive Queen, because the Hive Queen, again, is just something that I'll have to go to the other world for that was, like, really irritating me. But, who knows. We should sleep in our bed now, so we have our spawn set again. Because my home bed was missing or obstructed. So you guys can let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think we should do. I, on the personal hand, I kind of, I, like I said, I want to feel accomplished. I want to actually beat this. MK Cash 2845 says, BOSSES! And a lot of people are like, BOSSES! So, I mean, that's what we're going to try to go for. We just need to find one more rupee, and we can take on one of the bosses. One of the first bosses, actually this one, the Ancient Entity, it says the boss mob that you can be spawned in the overworld, the Ancient Entity is the first boss in Divine RPG players should fight. And we even skipped that one. Like, we didn't even take on the first boss that the players should fight. I'm thinking we should just mine. Let's go ahead and just mine and see if we can find a rupee. Or some gold. We have some torches on us. It's probably best bet to just mine. See what we can find that way. Who knows? There's diamonds already. Wow. Oh yeah, this is the series that I have all the diamonds in that I never need and never will need. See, they should make a, a trading station that allows you to trade X amount of diamonds in for rupee or arlamite. You know, it doesn't have to be that much rupee or arlamite, but you know, it could be like 10 diamonds for one, but I would definitely use it because nobody uses diamonds anymore. Especially after you start getting all the, uh, Real might or all, all the uh, real might stuff. As soon as you get real might, you don't need that anymore. Even if they made real might, because I had 32 real might just from the bosses or the uh, mobs that spawned in my basement. So that kind of sounds scary. I have mobs spawning in my basement. I need a little help with my mobs spawning in my basement. I probably need to go up like at least one more to get off the bedrock floor. There's lava over here, so that's definitely a good sign, I guess. There's torches, so apparently we've been here before. Oh, yay. Hey. Hey, bro. Oh, my gosh, really? Oh, I hate those enthralled dram cracks. And not only that, I got rid of that off my hotbar, which was not smart in the first place. 
Uh, Safi Arsenal says, decorate your home with Divine RPG mod stuff. I wouldn't really call it a home. <laughs> it's more like a, a hole in the wall shanty. Mainly because when I think of an adventure mod pack, I think of adventuring. I don't really think of like staying in one place. But this mod pack, yeah, I mean, there's so many items you kind of have to stay in one place. Hey, bro, you waiting for me to come back down here? No worries. There's three of you. Gee, four of you. Wow. You guys are all waiting for me to come. Ow. Ow. There's one dead. Some more corrupt soul essences. Thingy majiggers. Oh, gosh. No. No. Oh, my gosh. I hate them. Oh, they're my worst enemy ever. I hope the ancient entity isn't this bad. It says it has over 800 hearts, so 1600 XP or HP, which is quite a bit. Quite a bit of HP, as AJ would say. Really? He was like two blocks away from me. There's no way he could possibly hit me. Urgh. You know, I know that Lucklin and Miss Lucklin are playing this right now with their Divine Love series, and I just say good luck to you. When it comes down to killing all the, these mobs and stuff, good luck to you. Because, uh, yeah. If you don't have keep inventory on, you are going to be crying. Like, you're going to be crying so bad. There is those guys. So there's more corrupt shards for us for later on down the road. That's not what we want. And hello. Where'd you come from? You came from my hole that I was digging. I think you were the original one that killed me. The original Dram Cracks, whatever you want to call yourself. There's Lapis. I just want to find something awesome. There's a lot of lava over here. I mean, that could be awesome. Apparently, tons of lava. In fact, that's probably going to start spilling out now. My bad. My bad. We probably need to go this way. Let's go this way and see what we can find. Probably more lava. That's what we're going to find. Yep. Lava, lava, lava. Oh, that's not good. Well, good thing apart about that was there, there was gravel to save me. Bad thing about this is I still need to go up. Oh my gosh. I like am around so much lava, it's crazy. There we go. That's what we needed to bust into. So we could see if we could find anything. Arlamite wise. Or rupee wise. Hey, I'm not even afraid of you anymore. Look at that. Half a heart. That's all you take down is half a heart. It's like the mobs in this world don't even matter to me. Well, at least the vanilla mobs. Arlam, a rupee, where art thou? Hey, rupee, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, rupee, where are you? Where are you, Rupee? It's not down there. Whoa. Hey, leave me alone. I didn't realize there was going to be that many of those guys. There's like 28 of them. Jeez. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I will go to my... Ooh, that's real might. Not that I need that or anything, but that's real might. Alright, let's go up here. And see if there's anything up here. I really don't know what the spawn rate of this stuff. There's a bat. Hey, bats. How's it going? I know the spawn rate is not very good, though. I should have seen something by now. Alright, we are definitely going to have to go lower, I do believe, though. So let's see if we can proceed to where that other area was. 
I know we're gonna need gold for the clock, but I'm pretty sure that we already have that covered at home. Almost positive we have that covered at home. More lava. There's some obsidian. We are just out of luck, guys. You know what I really need, just for mining wise, because all the ores are so hard to find, I really need like the forest mod or something else installed. Just to add, you know, the extra kick that I need to mine all this stuff up, because otherwise this is going to be a drag trying to mine all this stuff up. try to go up because I think we're gonna break into something probably where all those guys were at that's what we're gonna break into we're gonna end up dying all right light up the area for you guys and well actually no because it would have to be below Ow, not good, not good, not good nearby. Get out of the lava. More lava, really? Wow. I am, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know, that whole thing where it says never dig straight down? I think they mean never dig straight down. I really do. My best luck to find this stupid thing is like, just look at that. I have a rupee shick axe. How, how could I be lucky enough to get a rupee shick axe, but I don't... Wow. <laughs> I don't have one stupid rupee on me. You know what I never looked for? I never looked to see if I had any hellstone. I could maybe have one hellstone at home. And somebody's sitting there like, Nearby, you had a hellstone. You could have just used that. Ooh. Nice surprise, but you're exactly not what I need. And thanks for the diamond. Well, you didn't drop a diamond, really. You're supposed to. You're like the tooth fairy, except for with the diamond fairy. Purple like jitterbug that just drops diamonds whenever you need them. Jitterbug. Jitterbug. No? There you are. That's what I need. I need you. Where is it? Thank you. Is there another one? Is there another one? No? There's not. I hear what I thought would be another one, but I guess I guess it's not here. Alright, we need to go back home because we can actually make this clock now. And I'm gonna search for a hellstone when I get back home just to see if I was right or wrong. I was probably right that I have one at home. Knowing me Jump up, jump up, and get down. And here we go. All the way up. <laughs> I like pie, one 1974 says, make a mansion in the ice world. No, thank you. No, thank you. Gaming Pling says, you can break that snowy block stuff by sleeping in a bed by it. Uh, I'm guessing you're thinking that I can get TNT to blow up that way. Denanzando R8 says you should try the remaining bosses. It needs a bit of grinding in the mithril place to get the spawning crystals, but I think you would enjoy fighting them. Also, you might need better armor like Ender Armor. And if you're going to return to the Snow World, please consider getting ranged weapons for those dungeons. Yeah, that's definitely right. Ranged weapons would be. You need a shield too, though. You need ranged weapons and a shield in order to like even think about fighting those dungeons. So we can add that up there with that and get that. And then we need one of these netherite chunks, which we do have. Nice. Told you we're good. So there's that. And then the only other thing that we're going to need is a clock. So four gold and a redstone. So redstone and four gold. Four gold. All right, sweet. 
so there is that 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 and that and there is that and we're gonna oops put that in the middle I think yeah in the middle with that that and that and that there we go we got our mysterious clock that we can use to spawn well in the daytime in the daytime we will spawn and I'm gonna try to fight this beast this Bahamut beast in the trees of course because you know I'm that kind of a person hey creeper hey creeper you're so fine you're so fine you blow my mind hey creeper hey, creeper 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 you know what I, I'm not gonna try to f I'll try to fight him like right here let's uh let's bunker down like right here Then we'll spawn this beast. And wow. He's got 4,000 hit points. He is huge. I kind of want to like see him. Look at that. Oh, he's got a butt. So what does he do if... Whoa, okay. He flings you really high. That's what he does. I guess you can't hit him from the head. You have to hit him from... Well, let's go ahead and heal up because you know that's going to hurt when he does that again to us. Wow, the ancient entity. He is so ancient and huge and amazing. And, wow, he is pretty easy to kill. He's just too big. They, they should have made him a smaller entity. I just called him the giant entity instead of the ancient one. Who knows how old this guy is? Not me. But he's really easy to kill. Three, two, one, eight, five, four, three, two, one. See, you guys were all like, the Aether 2, you made it too easy because you added mods. I have no mods added except for what the RPG mod is. There's no mods added. They should what they should do, and here's what they should do. Once you spawn this thing, you need to be in a 12 by 12 area or say a 50 by 50 area, and what happens is like cobblestone walls pop up and you're stuck in this like arena area because otherwise to fight this guy like they would want you to fight them, you would have to build your arena <laughs> to fight him or find a plains biome and just run your butt off. And uh, there we go. He is down. So what do we get? Oh, we got a sword. Nice. We got a nice sand slash sword. 32 melee damage. That one does 36. That's nice. And 100 uses. It only has 100 uses. That's crazy. And we have some divine RPG shards that are divine. Nice. Awesome. Well, that's what we did, guys. Thanks for watching, as always, because this was an epic episode where we killed... One of the ancient entities, or actually the ancient entity, one of the bosses of Divine RPG. You're welcome. You're welcome. I know, it was amazing. You guys are like, oh my gosh, I had so much fun. And now we have a Bane of Arthropods Fire Aspect 2 Knockback 2 sword, Sand Slash Sword. So, we'll see you guys in the next episode of Divine RPG. Don't forget to hit that like button if you're really enjoying this series. And, well, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.